Hi and welcome to the lesson number 5 of this course. I hope that this course is helping you a lot to learn the basics the of bioinformatics. Lest starts. Today we will discuss 1982. 1990. Parallel advances in biology and computer science. Genes, unlike proteins and RNAs, cannot be biochemically fractionated and then individually sequenced, because they all lay contiguously on a handful of DNA molecules per cell. Moreover, genes are usually present in one or few copies per cell. Genes are therefore orders of magnitude less abundant than the products they encode. This problem was partly solved when Jackson, Simons and Berg, 1972, used restriction endonucleases and DNA ligase to cut and insert the circular SV40 viral DNA into lambda DNA, and then transform Escherichia coli cells with this construct. As the inserted DNA molecule is replicated in the host organism, it is also amplified as E. coli cultures grow, yielding several million copies of a single DNA insert. This experiment pioneered both the isolation and amplification of genes. Independently from their source organism, for instance, SV40 as a virus that infects primates. However, Berg was so worried about the potential ethical issues, eugenics, warfare and unforeseen biological hazards, that he himself called for a moratorium on the use of recombinant DNA. During the 1975 Asilomar Conference, which Berg chaired, a series of guidelines were established, which still live on in the modern practice of genetics. The second milestone in manipulating DNA was the polymerase chain reaction, PCR, which allows to amplify DNA without cloning procedures. Although the first description of a repair synthesis using DNA polymerase was made in 1971 by Kiel Klepp, the invention of PCR is credited to Kerry Mullis because of the substantial optimizations he brought to this method, notably the use of the thermostable tack polymerase, and development of the thermal cycler. Unlike Klepp et al., Mullis patented his process, thus gaining much of the recognition for inventing PCR. Both gene cloning and PCR are now commonly used in DNA library preparation, which is critical to obtain sequence data. The emergence of DNA sequencing in the late 1970s, along with enhanced DNA manipulation techniques, has resulted in more the 1980s and 1990s for its capabilities in assembling and analyzing Sanger sequencing data. In the years 1984-1985, other sequence manipulation suites were developed to run on CPM, Apple II and Macintosh computers. Some of the developers of those software offered free code copies on demand, thereby exemplifying an upcoming software sharing movement in the programming world. The DEC PDP-8 minicomputer, manufactured in 1965. The main processing module, pictured here, weighed 180 pounds and was sold at the introductory price of $18,500, $140,000 in 2018 dollars. Image. Wikimedia Commons, CC0. The DEC VAX-11780 minicomputer. From right to left. The computer. Module. Two tape storage units, a monitor, and a terminal. The GCG software package was initially designed to run on this computer. Image Wikimedia Commons, CC0.